Hi everyone, on this video we're going to spin from the lock. This is the rambly fleece. This is the tip end that has been flicked open and this is the cut end. You should also fluff that up some and flick it open and make sure there are no um, neps or any second cuts back there. So you, just, you can tease your fiber a little bit and make sure that there are no, um, you don't see the crimp pattern. And go ahead and start spinning. So we're going to join here and spin as you would if it were comb top or roving. And one special thing to note is that I have the fiber leaning over my index finger in the hand that's holding the fiber. That way I can see the tips as they are presenting themselves. And I can watch for any nips. Found one right there. Take that off. But you'll have to adjust and make sure you're holding the fiber fairly straight. Now here's a different angle. And after you try spinning from the tip in, my challenge for you is to take some of your locks and spin from the cut end. There are some woodpeckers in the background. <laughs> so you can see the fibers leaning over my index finger for a nice smooth draft. Short forward. And you keep spinning until you have no fiber left over. Now what you might notice with this fiber, depending on how long your staple is, is that your drafts might be very short in comparison to some of the other things that you're used to spinning. So you can practice your draft, but I almost spin the full length of the lock, almost. So just a hair shorter and that's how I'm able to spin almost all that's in my hand aside from any nips or second cuts that I might have missed when I prepped as shown here that's it so you see there's a few nips there and then I'm done just one little wispy piece left over and a few nips to remove but that's what it looks like so now I'm going to show my ply back sample see that it's really fine 